Hello everyone, so this is part two of a part two series. Can it be called a series? We don't know. Episode one was me exploring what supermarkets in the UK had to offer and buying the ingredients. So if you want to check that out, link will be down below. But in this episode, we are going to be making a zero waste cake. I have never done that before. Now, when I was preparing for this cake, I was doing a bit of research. There are a few things that I'm not going to be able to use, I think. I'm not sure because I'm about to go to the supermarket. So you'll have already seen that video. So you would have seen the chaos that ensued. Hopefully not too much chaos actually. But I know there is a cake where you can do boiled oranges and ground almonds. And I'm trying to obviously keep my ingredient list very small because the less I have to buy, then the less I have to find. Hello everyone. So I literally just finished the first video prior to this where I was going to different supermarkets and seeing what they had to offer for zero waste. I have gotten lots of ingredients and tried to be as zero waste as possible. Oil oranges, the full thing, full thing, and then you blitz it and it works in cakes as I guess like an emulsifier, as a fat, I don't really get it, but it's great because it's literally zero waste, including the pith, and you don't even taste the pith. However, you have to boil it for a long time because I want to make it chocolatey because I want some chocolate in my life. So I've got this little Tupperware of my cocoa powder right here. Whole almonds because there was no ground almonds. I suppose I could have just gotten flour in that shop. I might make some cookies as well with avocado, oats oh my gosh this is so exciting i don't know if it's gonna work i really really hope that it works but we can't be sure can we where's my phone is we're gonna like look at ratios of different cakes and try and work out a percentage and then do it i feel like i've crafted two recipes i'm gonna make a cake and i'm gonna make a cookie now obviously i could have just gotten like icing and da 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 at the store, which I could have just done, and I could have just made it a cake, like normal. So what we need to do is wash your orange. I'm gonna be using one orange. Before it starts, just wanna give a disclaimer. Don't try these at home, because obviously these were like the first time trying the recipe. With a bit of fine tweaking, I think they could get there to like actual normal cookies and cakes. But obviously, this was just me experimenting. So I hope you enjoy. So take your orange, boil it in a saucepan for about two hours. Okay, none of my pans are big enough for it. So I'm just gonna have to keep like, when the water's boiling, flicking it around so it cooks evenly. But that's gonna be going on for two hours and we can make our cookies whilst we wait. Okay, so for the cake, we're gonna weigh out all our ingredients first. So the first thing we need to do is we need to ground some almonds. I don't actually know if this is gonna work because I don't know how powerful a Nutribill it is, but we can pray and hope. So we need 100 grams. I'm gonna write the full recipe in the description below so you can try it at home, but I don't know if you'll want to because this is a completely made up recipe. You never know until you try it. I really hope this is good. I don't know why, but I just wasn't expecting that to work. Oh, I'm chuffed. That was so quick and simple. Okay, we got ourselves some squirrels, some squirrels, some squirrels, some squirrels, some squirrels, some some squirrels, some squirrels, some squirrels, some I'm just so excited. Yes. Get in there. Boosh. This is so funny because I thought this was going to be some sort of a wild challenge where I literally like, I'm all frantic. But actually, I suppose if it hadn't been for that Pedrick's shop, I would be having an absolute mare right now. I think because I am dairy free, I find it very easy to like play around with the fat substitutes. And obviously butter was one of the things that I couldn't find in any supermarkets. So we've played around with the orange and the eggs for the orange cake and we've got the avocado for the other cakes so it's kind of like i just thought this was gonna be way harder than it is and i feel kind of like muggy but we're gonna make our avocado cookies now which this i don't know if these are gonna turn out right at all okay so the one thing i didn't get and couldn't find actually was flour so i'm gonna take the oats and i'm gonna blend 40 grams of oats because this recipe calls for 40 grams of flour so i'm gonna do oat flour instead and pray and hope that that what? I'm not sure if it will. Easy. That's far too simple, actually. So we have our oat flour. What the heck? This is so great. I literally love having the best time. But let's start off the cookies by mashing one avocado, which we got on sale, because we're trying to show that you can be cheap when you try and do zero waste, because otherwise it can be real expensive. Ah! It's a good avocado. It's um 
I feel like every single person under the age of 25 does that, don't they? It's an avocado! Um, and outside we actually have a different type of food compost bin where you can put raw food but you can't put anything that's cooked and it turns it into like, I don't know, it's called an aero bin and my mum is obsessed with it. We're gonna add our egg. You know what, these days eggs have been so much more fragile. The shells, I just feel like have, their shells have really changed property lately. And then we're gonna add our sugar. So here's our yummy avocado concoction. Time for a little quiz, all right? What is my favorite utensil in the kitchen? No cheating. Did you just peek? A spatula. Yay! I thought you should all get that by now because I literally say it all the flipping time. I was feeling so confident not long ago and my confidence has rapidly plummeted. Now well, here's our cookie dough. This is what it currently looks like. I bought it together, the egg yolk was necessary. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our reusable silicone mat, which I have been reusing for years. Where is the trick? Oh my gosh, I tell you. Does anyone else's family decide that the oven is a good place to put the trays, even though when it comes to actually using the trays, they're all super hot because they've been in the oven? I knew it. Cookie scoop, and I'm just gonna dollop. These just look like bad ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna push three of the cookies down because you know sometimes a cookie needs a little help um, and the other ones we're gonna leave in little rounds. Going in at 160 for 11 minutes. Whoa, can you imagine if we had waste here? So this is currently what we have got to work with. We've got eggshells and the avocado. But obviously, that's gonna go straight in the compost. Hi, so the timer just went off. We're about to check them. This oven is, oh my. Um, they look like rocks. They're not flat enough, so let's try that. Okay, so these are the cooked ones, and then I flattened these ones down a bit more. These are gonna go in again, and we'll see how they go. Well, here we go. Shoot me down and call me Bob. We have our cookies. I'm gonna do a taste test, because this orange is still going for it over here. I've refilled the pan about three times, because the water just boils right out. So I'm going to try one of these cookies and see if we have succeeded. <laughs> right, please test. Please be good, please be good, please be good. I don't, I don't think I should use oat flour. I think I should have just gone with normal flour, but it's zero waste and we didn't have any flour. So working with what we've got. Did I put orange in this? I'm confused. It's not, it's nowhere near sweet enough for my palate. I do have the palate of a five-year-old though. Weirdly, it's, 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 it's edible. I think it would be better with some dairy-free ice cream. Do you know what it tastes like? You know a naked bar? Kind of a bit like that. Definitely it's not a cookie. I'd probably give this a two out of 10. Do not try these at home. But technically, I produce something, a zero waste cookie, technically. I will get through those slowly, but I will get through them. Do you know what though? With a few alterations, this could get cranked up to a level seven out of 10. Like the texture's kind of nice because it's a bit fudgy, but then I'm just thrown off because it's so bitter and maybe added in some chocolate chip. Hello, it's me again. Just back to bake an orange cake. Avocado, very bitter. It's avocado. I literally said it in the vlog. I was like, are you even under 25 <laughs> if you don't say that? And oh wow, she's so soft. That is so weird. So this one actually, the recipe utilizes a full boiled orange. It's been boiling for two whole hours. Not actually as soft as I was anticipating. For one can only hope. I'm always stressed about using blenders that it's just gonna like set a light. And he did just blitz that sucker up. It just, every time blenders amaze me, but they do that. And they just do their job. Um, and you know what, again, another appliance that I love, an electric whisk. Just don't really get the time that they deserve. I really don't think they, they get enough air time. I thought that time was nice yesterday. Um, sorry, but all these appliances just really saving our bacon. I wonder how long they have had sieves around. A long time. Texture's okay though, isn't it? Actually, I'm gonna let him do a review. I'm literally putting words in his mouth. Change consistency. I quite liked it. The yeah, in a weird way. Yeah, because it's got like a crunchy outer and a fudgy inner. I think if I made that sweet, it would be it's nice. A little, yeah, a little bit dry. It's, it's only what's in there, it's edible. Better on that, over. Oh, for sure. 
Then, oh, here's my tray I lined earlier, uh, which is, also has one of those reusable cake liners. Um, you want to work quite quickly with the boiled orange because you don't want it to cook your egg. I don't know if this cake thing's going to be big enough, but I'm going to do with the leftover bits, make them into cupcakes. I don't have... Is there a waste? I've just had it, I've cracked it. Reusable muffin liners. I just remembered that we have these. I'm having a bit of chaos because it was, the cake tin wasn't big enough. In she goes. Do your thing, sweetie. Like a normal cookie. Uh, no, as a healthy cookie. I said like a... I gave it two out of ten. What? Yeah, I did, yeah. As a healthy cookie? Yeah. I'll give that five. Shook it! You know what I was saying, it's like there's not enough hours in the day sometimes. Now we're going to take a short interlude whilst Jessie and I try and figure out how to open this coconut because quite frankly the footage just really tickled me. So enjoy whilst cake's in the oven. Perfect timing. I'm going to hit on the surface. What are you trying to do? It said look there's a line and just like hit it. Table's not the best place Grace. I'm confused. You need a bit of strength. There you go. You're cracking it. To force behind it Grace. There we go. It's a nut. What? You've basically just shattered the outside shell. No, no, this is a real coconut in here, Jess. I know, but look, what's, the, what's the thing that's supposed to happen? Coconut. Now you can just eat it. Was that it? I knew that was going to happen. I was kind of waiting for like a little animal to pop out. Do you know what, what animal do I have in my head? A pterodactyl. No. I had a little pterodactyl no, that just no, flies I out. Had, um, you know the one in Madagascar that's like lemur? No, he's not a lemur. They a loris. Slow loris. There we go. Got none of your animals. I kind of really want to see a pterodactyl now. See, they're extinct, sweetie. I know, but I've always wanted to see one. It's one of my favourite animals as a kid when I used to love dinosaurs. Isn't it think there's a Peppa Pig one now? Yeah, Peppa Pig Peppa Pig worms. This is really annoying. You know when you feel like this just pop out? Just a bit of coconut in those cookies might have worked. A bit of shredded coconut, yeah, that could work. Let's try some. See, I'm, I'm secretly just a product developer, aren't I? You look like you're on the toilet. <laughs> that face. You'd be, you'd be trying so hard. <laughs> I'd like to have one fresh from a tree one day. Like on a honeymoon, you know, and you just like... Honeymoon? Yeah. Hey! Now put the coconut and wear it like coconut head. <laughs> you can't hear the ocean. It's not a shell. No, but it is. That is so weird though, isn't it? Basically, you can make your own headphones, Grace. Coconut headphones. Do you know they have them? Bose, Bose, Boss, whatever it's pronounced. Hmm. Bought out those sleep ones. They're like £225, but you just pop them in your ear for sleep. Can't even play music with them. Horse. That's oh, a video God. idea. How many things can I do with a coconut? Can I have some coconut? Ooh! <coughs> <laughs> I'm going to go hide. I've got a coconut in my throat. We've had 30 minutes at 160 fan oven. Okay, I think she might be good. A little, a little dome. I'm so intrigued to try it. I feel like it will be nice. We can't guarantee. Okay. There she is. I'm a bit annoyed because I feel like I definitely could have got an icing sugar from the zero waste shop and cocoa powder and used orange juice or like the water left. I could have used the water left over from the orange and made an icing. So annoying. How much cocoa powder do I have left? Do I do it with caster sugar? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna get this juice from this orange the second orange that we never used cocoa powder bit of water and some caster sugar and like put it on the heat to melt the caster sugar out and see if that creates a nice drizzle okay so we've got two tablespoons of the sugar and then i'm going to use one tablespoon oh one tablespoon try and utilize as much of the orange as possible oh this is a good you know sometimes they're just extra zesty what is wrong with me? I'm gonna go and put the orange in the aero bin. I'm back from the aero bin. I'm gonna to have to quiz my mum on that because I think it turns it into compost at the bottom. Oh, it smells disgusting. It's so hot. Why does it taste like that? So annoying because I really wish I had icing sugar. Hi, oh, nice. this is me and my lovely cake. So here's the cake. Uh, and we're gonna try some. Oh. No, no, it was a squeak. It was not a squeak. That it was, was a squeak. A Listen. Squeak. What are you hearing? That's a crunch. That ain't no crunch, hon. Cr it's moist. Zero waste. It's actually okay. It's a tiny it? bit it's bland. Orange. It's chocolate orange, yeah. But just again, with a bit of ice cream. Mm. Try some, please. Please try some of my cake. Like that. That bit will do. 
It smells orangey. Yes, yeah, so that's because it's orange. You just said it didn't taste orangey though. No, I said it's a bit bland. It's more of a pudding cake, not a cake cake. Getting the almond. I like it. It's just like missing something. I don't know, like a sauce. That's or... what I'm saying. Bla it's not bland because there's flavour. Mmm. Bland's the wrong word. Mmm. I think maybe it is an icing that it needs. I think like a, a nice ganache. Toffee sauce. Not toffee. I'm actually going to go in for a second. So that's quite high in fibre because you've just eaten orange peel in there. Like little nutty bits. Mmm. Not bad at all for an invented recipe. I mean, you could go to a shop and have that. Like it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be out of place. Thanks, Jeff. So it needs a bit of liquid with it. So. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. I'll give it a six out of ten. You? Yeah, better than the cookies for sure. The cookies mm. were just an extra. I wanted to see if I could do it. If you've enjoyed this, maybe we can try again and see what we can produce. Don't blend the almonds at home. Get ground almonds because it has wrecked my Nutribullet. Why did you always wreck it with nuts? That was new. It's taken away all the like. It looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's, it's like battered it. Look, can you see that? I think so, cleaned it. No, it, it, you can literally see there. Right, this was all the waste that I had left. Oh, I had some scrambled eggs for lunch. That's also in there. So that we going into the food compost bin, so we're covered. Exactly. And then that goes back into our garden as a biofuel. Oh. Sorted. Living life. So that really was zero waste. I'm absolutely chuffed, mate. Grace, it just affected. What do we think of my top? <laughs> music cracks me up. Just you say I look like a gamer girl. Well, you're not a gamer girl, now, but it doesn't look like a gamer girl top. You can't game to save your life. You can't Crap. even name any games. Mario Kart. Ooh, Is she a want? turtle? I like turtles. Apparently, it's really, really good. Apparently, there's cakes and a coconut on the side. So the coconut, the cook. <laughs> Come I with me, guys. To... No. Come was, with me, guys. I was going to bring the coconut. <sighs> look at that. Oh, I should try some with the weird icing thing. Won't lie. She does not like that. 